the £25,000 house, guys. It's ready there, in physical form, right? Buy it if you want it. Asalaamu Alaikum, guys. How are you? Thank you for your suggestions about how we should go about Eid. Firstly, uh, there's a house for sale. Uh, the house, I will share the pictures now that I have. And I'll share you the details. So it looks like it's got a fair few bedrooms here. Decent sized house. It looks like a double story house. With uh, Let's have a look. Bedroom one, bedroom two, bath, bath. So both bedrooms have their own ensuite bathrooms. There's a kitchen, there's a porch for the car, there's a living room. There's a tiny little lawn. I think this is a perfect house for a family of three, four, maybe even five. Uh, it looks like upstairs and downstairs is exactly the same. Generally, they do that so that uh, you can rent one portion, keep the other portion for yourself. In, in total, it's a four bedroom house. Each bedroom has its own ensuite. There's two kitchens, obviously, because of what I explained before. Two living rooms, but only one you know, porch for one car to drive inside, to park inside. Dr. Saab sent the message in the Hijra group saying, one of my friend who is based in Canada is selling his newly built five marla double story house for nine million rupees only. Location is multi-residential and orchard scheme. Please private message me if interested. Now, somebody already in the group said, what is 9 million rupees in British pounds? And it comes out to be 25,700. Uh, it is a gated community. We will go to that property and have a look at it from the outside. Now that I shared the pictures from the inside, we are going to show you just those means we have going to Asanamas and thereafter we will go down to GT Road to fuel up some petrol and then straight to Multi Orchards to have a look at the house. So how do you that, Zoya Bia? So we've got Zoya Bia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. to everybody. We're going to pray us, sir. We've got my jubba. Raving this jubba. Zoya loves the jubba. The nice jubba is like uh, mixed uh, shalwar and uh, jubba, yeah? jubba mix. Nice. Nice. So this is how they fuel up your car in Pakistan. So they have somebody appointed at the at each pump that's gonna fuel your car for you. You don't do it yourself. So right now this is coming close to three thousand rupees. So I'm boycotting the other petrol stations I'm at Attic at the moment. Can I say bye? My card machine eh? Hey, card hey, card machine. Machine. Yes, yes, yes. car wash. So they don't have a card machine. Now yeah. listen, uh, anyone got 3,000? I'll give it you when I get back. Oh, so I have easy pass I you. I've got a fan here. Bye, yeah, a chaff fuel milk either. A chaff fuel milk either. Hamdulillah. Ham go to Sre called Boycott Kare. Shell Co, Dusre, Joby Company, Ham Boycott Kare, Palestine Kelly. Pepsi, Cola, Lays, Ham Boycott Kare. Yeah, many Palestine buy it. Buy cart. Buy cart, buy cart, buy cart. Buy cart. Not buy cart. Buy cart is opposite. Buy and cart. <laughs> you're, you're gonna, he's gonna want your number now. Yeah, yeah, Pakistani. Yeah, Arabia. Arabia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Buy, yeah, play. Tiko kar hai. Acha, acha. Take it, take it. Take it, bye. Take it. Love it. Love is. Who's Doctor Sekandar? Yo. Residencia and orchards, guys. All these houses look the same. Outside. Oh, right this is like a villa type. Nice. These are like villas. Where's security guy? 
he's doing some garden that guy is so the reason i brought adnan with me is because he was actually interested in a house so he can have a look at this property now as well hey bani let's go that way so can you see large how you know this is might, might be gated with a security guard but he still can get in you see that you take a picture of my id card as well i still got in because when i tell people okay get to community you can still drive in they they mean they say what do you mean it's not that hard some of them they don't even check your id card you just drive in well a lot of them barry town dh you just drive straight in anyways these every single house looks the same so so adna can you see these houses on the right there they've got some serious paint issues yeah yeah, yeah. the paint is flaking away but then also the plaster's flaking away so that's got damp issues and it's not even completed so when they do complete it they're just going to put a fresh layer of uh, oh, yeah. yeah plaster just to hide it and it'll come back again look at that so that's what you need to watch out for okay it's saying we're here so i don't know where the door number is but i'm going to ring the security guard is it this is the house number there i don't know i think it's this one It looks like the pictures. I'm gonna ring the security guard now. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> so this, <laughs> they've run off the camera. They just don't want to be on the camera anymore. You don't want to get famous then. No, no. You don't want to get as famous as Mohammed the Job. Oh, Mohammed is very top G, man. Mashallah, he's saying top G. <laughs> so this is the house, right? Straight away. I mean, it's twenty-five thousand pounds. You can buy this house. I can see you've still got a meter to put in there. Uh, meters can cost anything from ten thousand pound, ten thousand rupees onwards. Gas meter is not there. If you see the cracks in the plaster, that means that they've not used as much cement and more sand. So eventually, over time, this is going to start falling, falling off. I can't see like a nice clean finish. And what's annoying more than anything, you might think, okay, you give this a touch of paint. But the rust will come straight through that touch of paint, and it's rusty everywhere. It's rusty everywhere. Okay, so you got like an inner garden. There's a little bit of an outer garden. Uh, I'm assuming that's where the water comes from. There, that's the manhole for the water. This is the little space to park the car. But can you see? That's uh, signs of damp all the way around around the bottom. The paint is flaking away here. Again, you can you can scrub all this off, have it replastered, and then that's time and money. Uh, here, the paints come off in this side, not the plaster. The plaster looks uneven; it looks horrible, but the paints actually come off here, which means it hasn't been painted properly either. And then there's a kitchen in here. Can't see in there properly. Dump all the way across. That's telling me there's a washroom behind there, because look at the frosted windows. So, I don't know what did you say. I mean, look at look at that. Even this wall here is experiencing dump. All the way across. Right. The way to stop this is by covering the top. Tiling it up. They haven't covered the top. So if you look from here, there's no tile. You look all the way down, damp. Here, there is a tile, right? The same tile they've used here. And you look straight down, no damp. But there's damp all the way across because of that. So yeah, this needs a massive TLC. I would say you'd easily. I haven't seen the inside, but straight away from looking at it. I think easily ten thousand pounds just to get it into a reasonable condition. Already, oh, that's weird. That little gap is just strange. But I guess what they're going to fill it with now. Also, these railings. I mean, the material they refer to as SS. It doesn't really rust. But look at that. Look at this. How on earth? Are they going to sort this out if there isn't another join here? It's got a join there. It's got to really fix into place, and it's not. It's only fixed from the bottom. So, 
Adran, is this a no for you then? Oh, definitely, bro. Definitely uh, not my cup of tea, bro. You, you like the area behind Giga Mall, you said, right? DHA2. Yeah, no, Giga Mall area is nice, but. Um, More available for kids, right? Like, wants to pay something cheap, yeah. 20, 25k is, is for them and do some extra work on it. But nah, the material on this house yeah. is very, very cheap. Yes. So. It might look good, it might look promising but from the outside. Over, yeah, they paint over. Yeah, that's what they do here. They fill in the cracks mm. with plastic paris and then they just paint over it. Now, the thing is, what I would recommend is renting first. Uh, obviously, do your research. I, I would say rent near the school that you want to send your kids to, then it's easier for you to take them to school. Because, bottom line is, that's where you're going five days a week, right? Rent nearby. Try it out for about a year, then you'll have a better understanding of where you want to buy your home or your apartment. But yeah, there's just nobody here. We're, we're like the the only three guys populating this place, isn't it? Look, there's somebody who might be living in there because they got AC online. Yeah, they'll be living, but there's so look, there's nobody there. else here. We're just only here. A couple of people, I think. I don't know where they've all disappeared to. Some few guys, I think, do some. So yeah, so some of the houses are still under construction on the left here. I mean, this place has potential, right? It just needs the people and the facilities. It's, it doesn't have the amenities. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a hit and miss, yeah, really. <laughs> okay, should we go then? Yeah, they got mustard next door. Oh, so that building's the masjid then that I was pointing at. That's a masjid. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a masjid then. Oh, the masjid, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And also, if you notice, nobody's getting work done. The houses are not finished, but still, you can't see any material hand, uh, lying around. So I wonder if people are just like giving up. I don't know. Anyways, that's the £25,000 house, guys ready there physical form right buy it if you want it because people were asking they want something that's ready nothing that's being built they want something that's physically available to buy cheap <laughs> this is one of them so now we decided to just drive around multi orchards just have a see and look around what's going on I'm but bear in mind it is Eid so not many people are here today that's probably why so let's have a look around. Look at that. So you see like this area just ends over there. And then they've apparently got a school and a park as well. They've got a park. Look at all those kids playing in the park. <laughs> Not even a single soul. <laughs> Nobody there. Now this place is open, the line is. What are all these then just walking around? Chicken. God dog, listen, do your job properly. Oh no, oh no, 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 so you can see there that this area is still heavily underdeveloped there isn't enough people there living there right now there's a lot of just empty empty land probably wow. available for purchase i mean the roads are not completed yet as you can see they just need one more layer of tarmac and they'll be completely smooth so yeah uh, me and Adnan and Zohair were just discussing that maybe yeah this will take another 10 15 years and then it'll just be like any other small gated community here out near the the uh, the motorway junction so this doesn't actually lead on to gt road it is right next to the motorway which is a bonus because you don't want to be next to gt road uh this is gt road that we're driving on now and then as you can see there Chacha Saab is just sat on a normal plastic chair sitting and enjoying life So me and the lads got hungry and I suggested driving up GT Road from Multi Orchards all the way to Hassan Abdal. 
and there's a, a, a restaurant or daba here called Mia G's as you can see on the map there so it's a good 15 minute drive and we just enjoyed watching the Babaji on the chair so that we can just enjoy some food and then you know complete the day so we've gone we've gone for a local legend yeah yeah down, I've got another one of these. Yeah, because it's a little, this is a different one. You don't come to this one? I'm sure there's one another one down there. Possibly then. I, d I don't travel up there, okay. Welcome to Mia G's. I'm going to get a prata, I'm going to get the meat. Okay, yeah? Oh, you? I just have a little boost over here, Mia G. Have you know? You're saying there's another one further up? Anyway, they cook it, cut it all the meat freshly. Freshly prepared food. This is one of the uh, local gems here in in GT Road towards Atuk Hassan of Dal. This is actually so we're gonna enjoy some food and then carry on in it. Cool as well. Says Gawa. Nice. Do, do is a honest review. Honest review. It's, it's in a place. <laughs> it's Lincoln. <laughs> He's doing his big bispala. This is a food tour now, isn't it? Is it too hot? That's hot, bro. That's Feed me now. Don't know Nimkin. No, we're, we're, we're salty guys, aren't we? That's your tandoori prata. That's my tandoori prata. So, Adnan Bhai, why, why are you not eating? Because I had a heavy, heavy, heavy breakfast earlier. He did not join us for the breakfast. This is the shai dal. It's not a big plate in it, so you thought it was a lot. I thought it was called Halim or something. This one, no? No, no shai dal, no? Yeah, this is mental. Let's try some more. Bismillah. Look at that, look at that. It looks like Halim, doesn't it? I mean, Halim is made from dal, isn't it? And meat. Yeah. Bismillah. Mmm. Sure. 10 out of 10. What are you saying? 10 out of 10. Mashallah, where's my meat? I'm going for nimkin gosht. You wait until my nimkin gosht gets the honesty. So this is the salty lassi. Bismillah. Yeah. I think it could be a bit cooler. It's a bit warm, but I think it's alright. And uh, the dal is honestly laced with desi ghee. It's delicious. Look at that. Look at that desi ghee there. Delicious. Zoeb's loving it, isn't it? Adnan's uh, contemplating life. <laughs> Why are you staring at it like that? Bro. <laughs> it's a plate full of meat. Plate full of meat, that's all it is. So, yeah, let's try it, come on. Let's dive in, man. Let's dive in, man. Fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh. Taza, taza. <laughs> this was the famous for me. Orange. Papa, boiling. Delicious food, guys. Delicious food, guys. That was 2,300 rupees. Let's move on, guys. The final message for you guys. I hope everyone had a blessed, blessed Ramadan. I pray that all of your deeds were accepted and all your fasts were accepted. I hope everyone enjoyed the Eid better than I did. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.